So Kevin of the We Are The Roberts channel, and if you haven't subscribed to that channel, go and have a look at it, I'm sure you'll subscribe after watching it. They're a fun couple with some great videos about the DJI Med 2 and other things too. So in the comments, Kevin said that he had watched a Gavin HR video where Gavin had tested the signal strength of the DJI Fly app versus the signal strength when using the Litchi app. And Kevin said it would be quite handy to see a test which also brought in the Maven app. Now as an iOS user, I can use the DJI Fly app, the Maven app and the Litchi app anyone I want so I can compare the three of those and see what the signal strength is like and if there's any difference in using those apps. So all I'm going to do is fly out towards that bing in that direction and I'm going to fly until the signal level drops. I'll be flying at the same height and the same speed in each of the tests and as soon as the signal drops that's when I'll, I'll turn lash around and bring her back so we can get a fair comparison. So first of all the DJI fly up. So it's quite windy today and there's a bit of rain as well so I'm going to set her up to 30 feet In fact, I know there's a telephone wire down there, I'll set her up to 60 feet So I've set Lassie up to 60 feet and that's the distance, that's the height I'll be flying her at because it's starting to rain a little bit and it's getting a bit windy So let's see how the signal strength is at 60 feet and see when it drops, here we go Now we have 25, 26, 27 satellites at the moment on the DJI fly up and a full RC signal strength as you can see. We're out now at just over 1300 feet and no drop in the signal strength yet. Now there's a first drop down to four bars, but it hasn't gone orange yet, so we'll fly on until it goes orange, but we'll take a note of that. That was around about 2,000 feet, but we'll make a closer note when we come to do the editing. I'm going to lift her up a little bit here because she's fairly close to those trees. So she's now up at 70 feet. And I'm going to have to lift her up to get over this bing. So I'm going to bring her up now as we approach the bing to 120 feet. And the signal strength is still sitting at four white bars. She's now out to three and a half thousand feet. So 140 feet going over the bing. Just over 4,000 feet now. Still four white bars. Now there we go. So. At 4,230 feet, we went into the orange, so let's bring her back. So there's a fresh battery, so this time let's try the Litchi app. Right, so here we have Litchi, let's get her up. Recording started. Set 
same again. Take it up initially to 60 feet. So there we go, she's at 60 feet. And the signal strength is 100%. And let's go. Now only 15, 16, 17 satellites, 17, 18 satellites, 16, 17 with the Litchi app. Whereas I think the DJI app was picking up 25, 26, 27. So that's a drop of of 10 ish. But signal strength is 100%. Just lift her up a little bit to make sure we're clearing those trees up to 80 feet. <clears throat> and then we're going to start to rise her up to get over the bing. Took her up to about 120. And then, as we get close, we decided to go up to 140. I say we. Well, I'm talking about me and Lassie, I suppose, so we are a we. We're a team. In fact, I was on a higher part of the bing there, so I've come up to 160 feet. Still 100% of the battery, eh, sorry, still 100% signal, according to this. And I'm not sure what it'll look like on the Litchi app when the signal starts to drop. I've never paid any attention to that and I haven't really used the Litchi app very much. So it'll be interesting to see just what the signal drop looks like on the interface. I'm getting quite quite a little, quite a bit of a breeze now. You probably hear the rain pitter pattering down on my jacket. I don't know if the mic will be picking it up or not. But still on 100% signal strength according to this Litchi app. And I'm out now at 5,400 and odd feet. So that's a mile. But still 100% signal strength, although 41% on the, the signal strength to the camera. wonder what that means. The remote control signal strength says 100% and the other signal strength which is the wee icon with the camera here I'm not sure what that is but it's up to 75% again <laughs> I wonder if that's the signal strength You'd have thought that the controller icon would be the one with the signal strength rather than the, the other one but it can be because it was still 100% or is that 100% battery power on the controller? Now there you go, so 75% now, I, I, that is the signal strength I think has dropped down to 75% there using the Litchi app. So let's fly on a bit and see if it drops down to a point where that may, the colour may turn from green to orange. 
but the percent the percentage is dropping down, dropped down to zero on the right. So that could be signal strength there. And I think that is signal strength because I'm not getting any telemetry now. The telemetry has stopped and the signal is at zero. Forty one percent on the controller now. Okay, so we got a disconnection there, so we'll just return to home. And I'm not quite sure what those icons stand for. I'll have to have a look at that and see. I, I assumed that the remote controller icon would be the signal strength, and I didn't even have any idea what the other, the other icon meant. So I'll have a look at that and tie it in later on. And it says on this here, going home, tap to cancel. Tap what? It doesn't say what to tap. Is it tap the screen? No. Is it tap the, the going? Yeah, so it's, it's tap, it's tap the, the, the return to home button, but it didn't say that. So let's throw in into sports mode and get her back home. And then we can work out later on what the two icons mean. And there's another controller icon which I've just noticed down in the bottom here with bars which are... No, 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 that's the distance from the controller. Yeah, ignore that. I don't know what I'm talking about most of the time. See, I'm not a huge fan of the Litchie interface, to be honest with you. It, it leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, I'm looking at it just now, and I don't know how to bring the map up, and I don't know how, how to tell if I'm if I'm flying in the right direction, other than to hit the return to home, and I don't want to have to do that. There must be a way, maybe in the settings, hmm, I don't see it there. I mean, there must be a way of bringing your map up. I, I don't know what it is. So that's fairly disappointing. It's probably a very simple way of doing it and I just don't know what it is. But there you go, There's, I don't even know how to get rid of that. Now I'm not a fan of this. This litchy app at all. The interface really could be doing me some work. So I don't know how to bring the map up from, from this point. Unfortunately, I know where I am standing in this field. But if I didn't know the area and I was just out flying and my battery was really low, how would I bring the map up? It's It should be... I shouldn't have to read through a handbook to work it out. I should be able to look here straight away and know instantly how to bring the map up. And I'm flummoxed. And it's probably something very, very simple that I'm missing. But I can't see what it is. Now, the Maven app's only available to iOS users at the moment. If you're an Android user, if you're an Android user, you won't be able to use the Maven app yet. I think the the creator is, is working on, on converting it over, but it's a long process, so it may be quite some time before you see the Maven app available on Android. But for us iOS users, here is the Maven app. So let's get her up to 60 feet. As before. And off she goes. OK. 
Okay, so I'm assuming that the big icon here that looks like the controller is the signal strength and all of this, all of the indicators on the right are the battery power in each of the devices. Now in this one I can't see the number of satellites that I have here, anywhere. Oh, I can. 16 satellites. 17. So that's pretty much the same as the Litchie app. And that may be just be because when I flew up 20 minutes ago with the DJI fly up, there were more satellites because there wasn't as much cloud cover. It could be something as simple as that. But this test today is about the signal strength of the three apps and if it's if it varies between the apps. So as we approach these trees, we're just going to push her on up to 80 feet. And for those of you who use the metric system, I do apologise that this one's in feet. I flew the first two missions in the Imperial system without realising it, so obviously for a good comparison I have to fl fly this one in the Imperial system as well. So any Americans watching will be happy with that. Canadians too, I believe. Uh, anyone in Europe might prefer the metric system. <laughs> As oldies tend to use both. Okay, as we approach the Bing, bringing her up to 120 feet, and then I know I'll have to push her up again as I get closer. So there's 140, she'll probably clear the Bing there, but we did take her up to 160 in the last flight, so let's try and keep it as consistent as I can. And I'm not using any waypoint missions for these, so the flights won't be identical, but they'll be similar. So the signal strength looks as if it's still five full bars and hasn't changed. We're just past the 4,000 feet mark. There's it dropped down to four bars now, and now it's dropped down to one, back up to three and four, so it's made quite an adjustment there. Quite a quite a pop. But I'll wait until it goes down to two and, and, and maybe changes colour. I don't know if it will change colour in this app or not. But we're down to three bars now. And there's two, so th there we go, it's now turned into red, so that would be the same as orange, I would imagine, in the, the DJI fly-up. So if you got something out of this video today, whether it be education, or information, or just entertainment, give it a thumbs up, and if you fancy sticking a litre or two in my tank to help me keep the channel going by getting out and about, then I'd really, really appreciate that. But for the moment, I'm out of here.